Finally, at the end of Plains Peak, Ajinkya Rane is back in the Indian Test team, but for the one-off World Test Championship final. He's been setting the IPL pitch on fire with some long-hitting and impressive strike rate. And it seems he's been rewarded for that and his experience in England, which is the venue of the WTC final. Here's more. BCCI has named the Indian 15-man score for the World Test Championship final, which will play against Australia from June 7 to 11 at Oval in London. Rohit Sharma will lead the squad and veteran batsman Ajinkya Rane has returned to the team for the first time since January 2022. Now, a lot of people have been talking about the remaking of Ajinkya Rane, especially in this season of the IPL. And if that's the real reason why he's been picked in the side for the first time in many months. All-rounder Shardul Thakur has also been picked, while left-arm pacer Jaydev Vunatkar has retained his place in the five-man pace attack. Wicketkeeper batsman Ishan Kishan is dropped, and KS Bharat has been named as the first-choice wicketkeeper batter. Remember, India qualified for the World Test Championship final for a second time in a row, while Australia have reached their maiden final. Big thing that I want to focus about is uh, the remaking of Ajinkya Rane. Of course, all of us, all of us have been wondering who is this man masquerading as Ajinkya Rane in IPL 2023? Because if you look in the limited amount of matches that he has played so far, he set the stage alike, and it looks like somebody uh, other than Ajinkya Rane, a Rane doppelganger, is actually out on the field for the Chennai Super Kings. But Shivani, uh, honestly, it's not surprising to be, uh, you know, uh, to see him this way. For me, at least, it's not surprising. Why I say that? Because it was the latter part mm. of his international career where he was actually looking somebody who was doubting himself, somebody who was not looking in great touch, somebody who was not looking in great form. Um, I remember a time in 2013 when he was the first choice opener in ODI cricket, but then you had Rohit Sharma and Shikhar Dhawan coming to the stage. So they started opening the innings, and then he was shunted, out to, shunted down to number four. He was told to do a job for India at number four in the 2015 ODI World Cup. Then he was the backup opener in the 2016 T20 World Cup. So he, he's had to modulate his game, his white ball game, because of those different roles that he was given by the Indian team management. And MS Dhoni was the captain at that time. And it was, it was his impression that Ajinkya could do so many different roles in white ball cricket. When was the last time we remember Rane being able to do so consistently as he's doing in the IPL currently? On top of that, you look at the kind of shots he's playing. He's playing that 360-degree yeah. cricketing shot, a lot of shots behind the wicketkeeper. I don't remember the last time I watched him play like that, just the freeness with which he's playing. Absolutely. You know, you mentioned one word there, Shivani, that's the freeness, that's the independence that he's playing with now. So I guess yeah. that is the one element that probably we are not aware of and that is something that's changed in him since he's come to CSK. And I know for a fact that MS Dhoni knows how to get the best out of Ajinkya Rahane, even during his time in international cricket, whether red ball or white ball, his best cricket came under the captaincy of MS Dhoni.